All right, everybody, I think we're live <laughs> with all these beautiful ladies. Um, my name is Catherine McIntosh, and um, we're just here to have a conversation about possibilities, about no judgment diet. So I brought some special, amazing, beautiful guests on to share with you because you guys hear my experience of the no judgment diet all the time but i want you guys to hear it from people who have done the class done uh the 90 day online course and really just what is this thing all about <laughs> so can i start please okay so i got a lot out of no judgment diet and well just from knowing Catherine because she she is an invitation to something different with your body um, that you don't see too many places in the world. What would it take for that to be different? But one of the greatest gifts for me was actually having a sense of joy in my body and with my body. So I've always been pretty joyful as a being, but I was just remembering this today that when I would walk in line at school, I couldn't stand still, you know, I was always moving my body. And then of course I always got in trouble. So then I, you know, like went to, I'd like swing my hands in front of me, behind me, in front of me, behind me. And a kid behind me one day, I was in third grade. And I remember it so clear. He goes, what are you retarded? Can you not stand still? And I remember my whole self just going like into this lockdown. And I so dynamically cut off that sense of joy and movement that was so yummy and easy when I was a kid. And I just, there was a rigidity that I just kind of went with my body of, oh gosh, like, you know, I want to be looked at as retarded. So I've got to be really still and all that kind of stuff. So no judgment diet. I really got again, the sense of joy with my body and movement of my body and the joy that I could have in my body and the freedom to express it. And the joy with my body part of, instead of this, this pain that was just, uh, you know, I had to feed it. I had to give it water. I was supposed to exercise, supposed to, supposed to. And it was like this, um, I neglected my body because it was something I didn't want to deal with. It got in the way. And then when I got, again, that sense of joy with my body and the movement and the, all of that yumminess, then there was a joy in being with my body. And it was fun to say, what do you require? And to be actually like contributing to it rather than than seeing it as this thing that was getting in my way. So literally my whole paradigm shifted of my body and it's really nice to have joy back in my body again. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I had no idea. Wow, cool. Hey, this is Krista. You know, sitting here listening to Marnie I didn't really think about it really that much prior. I just kind of wanted it to come up in this call of what I got from it. And there's a few main points for me is um, I had so much actual hatred and anger in my body for myself that I could cover up through my work or being a happy person that this is the first time in my life. And I did not think it was possible that I could actually look at my body and especially naked and go, that's mine. Like, this is my body. There are some things still, of course, I want to morph and shift and get even better with, but this feeling of like honoring my vessel, this is the only one I get in this life and truly going, thank you. Like for the first time, I just, and, and more that I didn't think it was possible and that I got to see the possibility in that is utterly, utterly deep and grateful I, I have. And I'm also not wanting to sugarcoat that it's still work. Like I still get to play with these tools daily and have fun and some days cry. But I also now have this knowing of that there is something else that I can do. There is a shift and just some old paradigms are coming up so I can still move through it. And you call your friends and you practice it together. That's Teresa and I just did that this morning. <laughs> like we were just working through some stuff. And then the other piece for me was um, a friend put this beautifully. I had this box, my life, and I have been opening it up and I have been unpacking it. And there were some things that happened to me when I was younger that I would unpack and look at and go, oh, okay, that's. I can see just why that event happened and how I continued through my 40 years now of, of bringing that story to create um, 
to create one of my trying to work with that other word, not solutions, but to create the issues that I was dealing with that now I get to get a little bit more excited about my box and I'm unpacking it with gratitude going, Oh, without a story. Okay. That was an event. I see what, ha- what happened and now I can change it. And now I have a tool versus sitting in my victimhood and martyrhood of like, Oh my God. <laughs> um, and again, not that that doesn't happen still, but I have, tools to get moved through it. So that's what I'm really grateful for. And I did the 90 days and that was incredible. And I've done the live events. I will say the 90 day one was at my own pace and I got to sit with it and be with it and do the tools every day and see what tools I didn't want to do <laughs> where my resistant was and, and moving through that. And then going to the live event really brought all of that together for me um, to go even further, to, to ask more of myself. So thank you. Cool. Thank you. Hi, I'm Teresa. And I have so much gratitude for this lady right here, Catherine, that I, if I make it through this without crying, um, my first experience with Catherine was just watching her Zooms. And they were just, I mean, I remember stopping on the side of the road because I'm like, I don't want to miss any of this. So I went to my first deep dive with Catherine last April and it was amazing. It was just amazing. I mean, I'm really confident in my business and everything else. And I I mean, the first thing she said was, you're all here to work with bodies. And I'm like, well, I'm not, I must be in the wrong class. (laughs) I'm like, I must've thought this was something else. Maybe I should go. (laughs) And anyway, what we went through that first day was so incredible. I mean, she was so kind and so gentle. And I never realized that my body did not want to be touched. Even though my mind said, Oh, I want to be hugged. I want to be all of this. And she was so kind and gentle. And, and listen to my body. I mean, my head's saying touch me and my body's going, yeah, maybe not. And by the end of the class, I mean, it was awesome. And I shed so much stuff off and and since then I've been to three more deep dives, two or three more deep dives. And every time she still, Catherine still shows that gentleness with me whenever I'm like anxious or I can't do this or I get into my freak out of I can't do it. And she just walks me through it and reminds me of who I am and where my capacities are. And that allows me to just lower all my barriers and move forward. And I will be forever grateful for her, to Catherine for that. I think that's all I want to say right now. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are going to make me cry. So we, we didn't plan what we were going to say. We just got on here really to have a conversation. And, you know, before I let, before Denny Lynn says something, it's like, you know, it's so interesting to me because we all choose these bodies, right? And then we spend most of our lives going, ah, I don't like you or like why are you so hard or why do I have to feed you or what the heck do you want or let me bark orders at you and you know it's really cool to see and hear and perceive like what if this body was here to contribute to creation to business to consciousness to growing possibilities and like to hear you guys and and you know remember where like it's not about the no judgment diet, right? This is about starting to to be aware. <laughs> Yay, and my other special guest, starting to be aware of that this body, if you ask it to do something, it actually will. A lot of us here have kids, <laughs> right? And when like you ask your kid if they're under the age of eight to do something that's fun for them, they totally want to do it for you without a point of view, without. And so these bodies, like what, what are we not asking our bodies that if we started asking our bodies would be an invitation to something different? And, you know, that's what I get excited about and seeing you guys just change and shift and morph and ahas because what if we all like their bodies <laughs> what kind of planet would that be like so that's all I gotta say well and and can I just say like you said this wasn't planned so 
just listening to what everyone's saying and, and, and Catherine watching your willing, you weren't expecting like the showering of what we're grateful to Catherine for, but watching your receiving of mm. it mm. just was beautiful. And it's for me, I went, Oh, that was actually something else that dynamically shifted is I was horrible at receiving anything. And most of us are, you know, we, we, someone gives us a compliment and yeah, yeah, whatever we do our little deflect thing and we don't really let things in. And the more I was willing to be kind to my body and consider my body, actually talk to my body, ask it questions, my ability to receive from everything and everyone everywhere dynamically increased. Mm. <laughs> you guys are going to make me cry this whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. <laughs> I'm Jenny Lynn. And um, I love that you said that, Marty, because that's something else that has really shifted for me as well as in that huge receiving component because you know I've been like the strong mom and the single mom and I've got it all together and I'm the one everyone else comes to um, when they want something or need something and so I've got to be strong and I've I can't ever like be weak and allow myself to actually ask for something that would contribute to me or even just allow people to show up and contribute to me in general um, without even necessarily having to ask for it and that has totally opened up and totally shifted for me in such a huge way since getting these classes. Uh, last year I did three deep dives and three of the days and I'm a personal growth junkie. Like I've gone to all kinds of seminars and workshops and read books and listened to audios. I've really been doing that kind of my whole life ever since I was a little kid. And um, between actually really honoring my body and listening to it and being able to like be facilitated by Catherine to open up with my capacities and my knowing not only with my own body but really with other bodies has opened up this whole other level of uh, communication where things have shifted in many other areas of my life including relationships and, and really like the biggest gift that I'm so grateful for with Catherine is her level of vulnerability. You know, a lot of other different things that I've tried and not to like knock anything else, but a lot of other different things that I've tried, there's usually this facade of like having to look successful and have it all together and put on this kind of persona to get me to like buy into that entity or that person's um, idea of what success is so that I could then follow them. And the difference I think that I have noticed um, is that beautiful invitation of like, that's just not where Catherine functions from at all. She's willing to be like, here I am. And she invites in all these different stories of things that she's experienced, not from the level of like, let me be attached to my story, but really of inviting us to see a greater possibility, acknowledging what I've got, like what else is possible and what else can we create and really to kind of get back to that first energy um, uh, language that we have, which is energy and trusting our own knowing um, and being willing to like navigate through life and invite in infinite possibilities from that place and space. And so I'm super grateful awesome thank you yeah I think all of you know that if you come to my class I share my disaster called my life right just because it is that that like no one's perfect and nothing's perfect but if like the life is about like not necessarily what happens to you but how you use what happens to you or what you create to create greater, to create different, to have it be like, I know for me, when I see, you know, Dane or Gary share their life stories and go, wow, you went through that. It's like, oh my God, then my life isn't that bad. <laughs> right? <laughs> and so, yeah, I wonder, like, it's not about getting it right ever. So I love that genuine. Thank you. 
Awesome. Miss Megan, you are here. We're so glad you're here. Me too. We're just having a conversation. So if there's anything that you want to share your experience of the deep dive or the three day no judgment diet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's interesting. Just when you were just talking, um, I got this sort of this awareness or this phrase came to me living and creating from what is like so many things in like sort of self-help stuff is like, like, okay, like, let's get you over there. Let's take you over there. And I think that the value of, of, you know, facilitating from where you do, which is that space of vulnerability. And this is my life, but you don't stop creating. And that was also true in the training. Like, I mean, our, our particular training was intense as fuck. <laughs> you know, like it was, we, we had some shit going down, you know, and you just was like, here we are. Like there was no resistance of it. There was just, and through that, I think I, I experienced one of the most masterful facilitations I've ever seen. And I think that's the value of living and creating from where we are. Like, instead of thinking, oh, I have to be here, I have to be perfect, is like, there's all this energy where we are, <laughs> then we can do whatever we want with it. But I think that's the, for me, that's like what magic is, is like creating from all energies and any energy and creating magic out of nothing or creating magic out of crap or whatever, or creating magic out of bliss, whatever the, wherever I'm creating my life from, you know, and so that you're such a beautiful uh, model of creating from what is in, in the moment to moment. And isn't that what embodiment is, right? Because our bodies can't exist in the future or the past. The only place our body exists is in the is, is in the right now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's like, it all kind of goes together that way. It's, it's interesting because um, my, uh, one of my partners, Shireen, all, often talks about Colorado Megan. And she's like, I want Colorado Megan back. And I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, you were like so embodied. Like I've never felt you or, or experienced you so embodied. And like, what I would say is that you gave me a taste of what it, a possibility of embodiment that I knew was possible, but I wasn't getting to. Right. And so what I do from time to time is, you know, the little thing in access where we're like, I'll have that. I do that with, I do that with that training oftentimes and with what my body felt like through that training. And probably a few weeks after that training, it was like that, that, oh yeah, my body knows that place. And I can actually access it by doing that and just like, and, and utilize that energy as a way to go. Yeah. More of that body, more of that. And so like, I feel like that's really like, and I got so many gifts, but that's probably one of the biggest gifts is I felt I had a felt sense of what embodiment could be. And that's different than a thought. Uh, I think embodiment might be like this, you know, like that's the value of doing live events. I think is you get an embodiment of that energy, you know? And so that was really amazing. And, you know, the, the, one of the things that I have used so freaking much from the deep dive, I have to say, Catherine, the deep dive was one of my very favorite trainings of all time. Like it was so deep and so big. And I learned so much about myself that day. Like it really was that it real like, it was like one of the best days of my life. I freaking love that day, you know, and just that invitation to be as sort of intense as I am and as chaotic as I am and like more and more. And like, normally, like I, even with, even with like some of the best facilitators in the world, I'm like, you probably don't really want my more, you know, like <laughs> that I, I want all of your mores. <laughs> I know. And that is such an amazing, an amazing gift for somebody who always holds a little bit back. And especially on the chaos front, right? It's like, I, I know the chaos that I am. And like, I, I still modulate it a lot, but not in your presence. Like I'm just pfft, as chaos, chaotic as I am, but there's a way that I, there's a way that in the space of allowance of my chaos, that my chaos can actually really accelerate and, and not 
because I feel like when I hold chaos back, it moves into havoc. Mm. And so like in your presence, I'm able to be the creative chaos that I am and to actually utilize that in a really powerful way. And, and one of those ways is that when you did the facilitation with me where I, you said, basically gave me the awareness, I wasn't facilitating from behind me. Huh. Like I was only facilitating from the front of me and like, like spherical awareness and spherical facilitation has been a game changer. Cause there's like times, even when I'm in training and I'm like, Hey, what's going on? It's like, Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't pulled anything from back there. Okay. Turn it on, you know? And like, it's so amazing. I love it so much. It's, it has been a game changer for me to actually have that awareness of facilitating from all of me. And that's been a body thing, right? It's like, Oh, I don't like my ass or whatever. Like, so I don't go back there. <laughs> <laughs> don't go back there, baby. So I'm like, you know, I've been facilitating like forward, you know, and to, in to include my ass in, you know, all, all of what I'm creating has been an amazing gift. And the, the space that you are of allowance is truly um, an amazing, amazing gift. And, and, and your willingness to be wherever you are, whatever pile of poo or whatever bliss you're in is also gives that permission for us to be where we are. So thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Wow. What a gift, you guys. I'm so grateful. You know, I kind of was like looking at, wow, there's like this question that is percolating in me that I'm curious about each and you don't all have to answer. You can, but like what, can you remember what your body meant to you before, you know, the energy of what it was to you before? Was it just a thing you hung out with? Was it just like this thing you had to feed, you had to wake up or, and, and then like the difference of what your body means to you now. And it's like, you know, the, look, we all do all these classes all the time. We're all probably like going, oh my gosh, what else can we create and who else can we be? And there is this level of embodiment that once you, once you get it, not that you arrive at an end destination, but that it opens up these doorways that you didn't know were there before, or you knew were there, but you didn't know how to open. So I'm curious if anyone has any like remembering where you were with your body and Megan, you kind of sparked this where you were with your body before and what, and Marnie, you mentioned it too, a little bit, what it means to you now. And for anyone out there that has a body that maybe isn't liking their body or that has a, a body and is living a life and doesn't like their life. What would you like, what would you guys say to them? I'll share. I have like a billion different things going through my head right now. Uh, but as Megan was talking, um, I was thinking about, because I actually do work with bodies as well, um, like energy work. And even just a couple of days ago, I was working on a body and I noticed myself not kind of like expanding out and having, you know, from all directions. And that trigger was directly as a result of coming to your classes to remind myself to like expand out and invite that body into, you know, a, a, um, so that was one direct thing from the class in terms of like actually hands-on work with the bodies. One of the, uh, and one of the things that's actually kind of connected to that is so funny because I, I've been working on changing my relationship and my dynamic with my body for a while. Like in the last year, really hasn't even been a whole year yet, uh, much less. Like right now, I'm, I know I used to model, so I'm heavier than what I normally am used to being. But now I'm like not judging it like, oh, you're so fat. Oh, we need to take off a few pounds here or whatever. It's there's not that kind of monkey mind running around in my head of my body being bad or wrong because it's a different size or shape. It's more of, I've even been asking lately, like body, what would, and just kind of being with that space of however it wants to morph and shift and change. And if that's heavier than what I would like to be, that's okay. 
So that's such a huge gift, especially coming from that former modeling world where like everything had to be perfect, straight teeth, like everything. Um, but I noticed about a week or two ago, I brushed up just on accident, like, ooh, I have a really nice touch. I've never acknowledged that before. Like I felt my own touch on my body and I was like, wow, that's so amazing. And then when I was working on this gal's body a couple of days ago, she was like, you have such an incredible touch. And I was like, wow, just from being willing to acknowledge that in me, then it opened up me being willing to receive that acknowledgement from someone else as well. So there's so many things that didn't change with my body, but those are kind of like the bigger, more recent ones. I'm definitely not the same with me and my relationship with my body that I was um, I, approximately a year ago. And so I would just say, you know, um, what questions can you begin to ask um, of you and your body? And I wonder what your life would be like if you were willing to stop judging you and stop judging it. Um, and, and stopping may seem like this big out there thing <laughs> um, that isn't necessarily always attainable. And like, what if it's just a moment by moment thing and just practicing. And then when you notice you are going into judgment, you know, honing that kind of muscle, if you will, to practice bringing yourself out of that when that's occurring. And Catherine's classes and her programs that she created are a beautiful invitation to help kind of facilitate that for you. I would say I went from dynamically neglecting my body. It was this thing that slowed me down and got in the way. And I just dynamically neglected it to there's a joy in space of I have a body. I have a body. It's so much fun to have a body. I mean, my body lets me feel the warm sun. My body lets me feel the, the cool, gentle breeze. My body feels the sand on my toes or the grass on my toes or my body gets to have yummy food. And it's now it's this, it's fun to have a body and it dynamically increases the joy and adventure of living. Whereas when I was dynamically neglecting it, yeah, was all that stuff there? Yeah. Did I notice it? Did I receive it? Did I let it in? Teeny, teeny, teeny. And now I can just let it in. It's fun to have a body. It's fun to have a body. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> oh my God, you guys are all making me cry today. <laughs> well, um, Catherine used to, or she does share a story of, you know, how she kind of got to this place and looking at her new baby and kind of what that brought up for her. And, and for me as a mom, um, I'm a five year old and I used to just myself talk was. <sighs> It was intense. Like you asked the question, like before my body was a nuisance, it was just a nuisance. And like, it, like Marnie said, it kind of got in my way and ugh, I had to deal with it. And, um, I became more aware with this work, especially for my child, which is a good catapult for me, but it's still about me, but how I speak, like what, not even, even more than what I think, even though that's just as important, but the words that come out of my mouth now, especially because she hears everything, <laughs> And to be able to say, she, she is me. Like I have that five-year-old in me. And so what would I have wanted to be around and encouraged to enjoy my naked body and enjoy however it looks because we're all so different. And so now I see the capacity that I have that I don't have to be in pain anymore. I can actually talk my body through it versus just kind of going, oh, again, like you're just get you're just getting louder and you're more obnoxious and I'm just going to try to ignore you even more. Um, and then I am a body worker also. And the receiving piece is really cool. There's many layers to this receiving aspect. And I've received while I'm giving body work is incredible to hear other people's bodies because I'm actually listening to mine now has made me much more potent. And when a client actually says, wow, like Jenny Lynn says, that was an amazing, you have amazing touch that I will literally, like this is not just my work or a friend or a person will say a kind word to me and I will stop. <laughs> and sometimes I just say out loud, I receive that. And I literally am practicing it. I receive that and let them know I'm receiving it because I want it. 
<laughs> so I'm grateful for that versus that like, oh, I'll, I'll take it in right here, but I won't really like let it, you know, come through me. So that's been a special gift also. Hi. Um, I would, the biggest thing for me has probably been just the bringing the two of me together, my, my being <laughs> and my body together. <laughs> Cause I never realized how much I was out of my body <laughs> until I met Catherine. <laughs> and so it's been really amazing journey over the year and working with Catherine to you know, if I, if I would get anxious, I'd just leave. I'd be like, I'd bail. <laughs> and, and so it's been really fun to come back and be like, no, it's okay. It's okay to be me. And I mean, I never realized how insecure I really was from that regard. And so now being together with my body, it's, it's just so much more amazing. And the confidence that I, you know, show to other people, and they do, they're just like, something's different about you. And it's like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> and, and that's been amazing for me. So that's probably my biggest thing I've gotten out of it. Thank you. I think um, just in addition to what I said is the, I would say that the awareness that my body is the consummate teacher. Like I had this awareness recently and I know that it's like in part, it's connected to my time with you because there's something that your body just is in and it facilitates and it like turns on other bodies. Like I'm really aware of that. I'm really aware that certain things light up and certain possibilities for a body light up when I'm in this, in your space. Remember the first telecall I ever did of yours? I passed the fuck out, dude. I was like, I wasn't even tired. It was like 10 minutes in and I just went out. I, that has never happened before. Like I'm a good student. I'm like, look, I got notes even on this call. Like what the hell? <laughs> My body was just like, give me some of her and shut up your head. You know, and then just went, <laughs> it went out, you know? And, um, but I, I had this awareness recently that, you know, like there are times that I like judge, like, oh, this is a, like, I shouldn't be eating this or I shouldn't be drinking this or la, la, la. But what I really realized is that when my body's done, it's very clear. It's like, no, I, it, like there's, there's like a, a refined clarity of my yeses and nos with regards to my body since uh, no judgment diet. And it's interesting because I even had the thought, oh, I didn't have to judge myself for the last three days because my body was fine with it for the last three days. And then it wasn't. Hmm. And just was like, no, we're not having this now. I'm like, all right. You know, so there's just a, a almost like, a, um, there's this, uh, there's this process going on where I'm learning to come out of my head and trust what my, my body knowing, you know, and, um, that's continuing. Cause it's like, there's this thing that happens where it's like, okay, you're in a, you're in a workshop and it's like, you get lit up and la la la. And then you, then you kind of go get tested on it, if you will, you know? And, um, but there is a, um, because it's such deep work, what I can feel is there's an ongoing, uh, increase of awareness and expansion that, that continues for, that has continued from that event for me. And, um, and that's super cool. Cause there's a lot of stuff that I, I do, or I've done. It's like, okay, that was cool. And I got lots out of it, but it's not a ripple effect. And I would say that the, that my experience of uh, no judgment diet and the deep dive is there's been a ripple effect of an increase of awareness in a, and that, and a coming back to my body since then. Wow. Wow. You guys, I am just so grateful. So, you know, it's like, yeah, if you guys are listening to this, if you watch this now or in the future, we have, you know, most of these ladies are from Colorado. Megan's from Salt Lake City, Utah, or roughly, right? Roughly. So we do have- <laughs> it's really rough, but yes. <laughs> We do have two live events in Colorado coming up um, first in April, at the end of April, and you may see these 
gorgeous ladies there, or you may see them in Glenwood Springs um, in June. And right now we're doing a promotion where we call it shake your, shake your moneymaker special because your body's your moneymaker, right? And so um, if you'd like to come play, if you're curious, um, the special is running till March 14th. And I just know for me, like, it's so cool to watch these bodies and to hear these stories that I didn't know were there. You could like, I'd never heard it. And so if you you want to you know create more have more fun have more joy and just laugh and maybe be serious if you want to be serious and it's really cool so I have these new bracelets right that we just got made and I'm really excited about it so one of the things that you get at a live event right so it's hashtag NJD and then it says no judgment diet so it's the colors but what you do is so you during the course of the three days what you're going to do is get a bracelet wear it and every time you catch yourself judging you guess what you have to switch wrists mm -hmm. and so it's like this this like reminder of oh my gosh I didn't even realize I was judging myself in that area oh my gosh I didn't even realize I was judging myself in that area so if you guys want to come play we would love to have you and ladies like what a gift each of you are uh, to the world to the planet to consciousness to the tools to being to your like future and what the heck else is possible and just thanks for being here it means just I'm tickled you guys made me cry the whole time <laughs> so thank you <laughs> yeah. thank you so much Catherine too yeah awesome well thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye. come play bye <laughs>